Hello reception. Today we're looking at using addition. When we use addition, we're figuring out how many there is all together. It means that our number is going to get greater. Today I've made a whole part model and I'm going to show you how you can use it to solve some addition problems. I have made my own whole part model using some plates from home. These ones are going to be the parts and the big one is going to be the whole. I've been challenged with some number equations and to help me work them out, I found some things from around the house that I can use as my counters. I've decided today to use some blueberries and some grapes. Let's pick one of the challenges. This number problem says four add one equals. So first I'm going to put four in one of my parts. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four. This part has four. The next part needs to have one. So let's count it out. One. Now to see how many there is all together, I'm going to move both parts into the whole. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five. Four add one equals five. To help me how to remember to write the number five, I've looked for some number lines around the house. I've used a ruler because it's got the numbers from one to 12, or if I was doing number problems from one to 20, it's got the numbers along here too. So let's check. One, two, three, four, five. That will help me to remember how to write the number five. Why don't you try the challenge as well? Get somebody to write some addition problems for you to solve and see what you can use around the house to make your own whole part model. Please put a picture up on XAP for your teachers to see and enjoy!